Hello, this is Activate Your Grammar. Today, we're going to look at the gerunds. Some considerations before we start. Do not translate as not always there is correspondence. We will not contrast the structure with Spanish as in this language the gerund has bigger ramifications. However, some considerations will apply. Do understand that the structure, its composition, is similar to present progressive. Subject plus verb plus ing. But intention, context, is the key. See below for more examples. Some of the uses and characteristics of gerunds and their examples are the following. For instance, a gerund can be used as a complement of the sentence. Example, Gina is walking a lot. Now, if we want to use it as an adjective or a verb instead of being a gerund, it will be called present participle. For instance, Johnny will take a walking course. The gerund can be a complement to the verb to be. Example, the most difficult thing of English is understanding the context. When there is a verb after the preposition, it is necessary to use the gerund, like Camila is very good at painting. Some of the uses of the gerunds are as a subject, for instance, crying is good for the emotional help, as an object, I dislike doing chores, as a complement, I love cooking. Now, with the verbs love, hate, enjoy, like, avoid, prefer, finish, to name a few, the following verb will be in gerund. There are four positions where the gerund can be located within a sentence. These are after the verb, after prepositions, ing after to, and with the pronoun it, as, in, it's nice talking to you. Gerunds are versatile in the language and its use is of great benefit. This is the first of a series containing more examples. Remember, the learning of gerunds and many more aspects of English are about consistency and practice. Congratulations! Now you understand some of the uses of the gerund. I will see you back here for the next time. Good luck!